Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. I missed you so much yesterday. I really oh. did, but thank you very much for covering everything. You're, You're amazing. Thank you. You're more than welcome. I think we had quite a, a, a fun-packed, filled edition. We covered quite a lot yesterday. Yeah, I must watch the replay. <coughs> I, I had a, I, I did take a, a, I had to take a full day, so I did. I have yeah. done nothing relating to anything. Good. Uh, it was just total, total, total. Had to chill out. So um, yes. Good. So I, mean, um, I could tell that when I spoke to you Monday evening, which is why I said just stay in bed. Don't worry about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, back now. Thank you ever so much. So uh, that was lovely. So what did you cover yesterday? So we've been doing cast-ons this week, haven't we? Oh. So yesterday we did Turkish cast-on, uh, which was really interesting. Right. Um, and I've got another one lined up for today. And then we uh, oh, we had a bit of a boogie to a town called Malice in the morning. Um, <laughs> I know you've been itching to do that one, don't you? I have, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we... Uh, what else did we talk about? Oh, I showed them the present that you got me from Mothy and Squid. Oh. and everything that came in it uh i then showed them george's lovely present from me which was the knitting uh harry potter knitting magic book um and i showed the uh pizza box from we Cun county yarns um so i'll have to send you a picture of that separately because you haven't seen it yet uh what okay. else did we talk about yesterday um <laughs> we went through the facebook pages did some throwback tuesdays yeah that was good um and then uh i can't really remember to be honest i was very forgetful i had a whole list of things planned to talk about and just kept forgetting stuff and they all said to me well as soon as you finish you'll remember no <laughs> no i didn't <laughs> <laughs> my memory is just terrible at the moment i had a conversation i was having a facebook conversation with a friend this morning and she said something to me um and i said to her um that was it she's having internet problems and i said oh, it would be really good if later we could um have a video call and she went robert i've just told you i've got internet problems so i can't do video calls and i was like what and it was there in front of me it was in the conversation too <laughs> <laughs> but hey that's so funny. and that's why i have this big notepad now so that i keep writing things down <laughs> It's amazing that when you have this total chill out that never normally happens until you retire, um, it's amazing how your brain is just on autopilot. And then when you take out that autopilot, you go through this, I really need to chill out and relax. And then after a while, you settle down. But you're in that... Um, how would I ever fit work into my working days ever again? Yeah. <laughs> but your body obviously needs it. It needs time. Um, so, yeah, just get enough you time because it's really, really important. So you need to take a day off soon. And that's what I'm doing on Friday. So yeah. I'm not doing any guild work on Friday. I'm not doing any goggle frogs work on Friday. I'm not doing any housework on Friday. I've got up this morning and started. So I'm ahead of myself for the week. So on Friday, I can just have a nice, relaxing me day searching oh. out get my beading out which i haven't done for a while um yeah a me day because even though i've got all the time I, I don't seem to be able to get anything finished i've got a, a bit of a thing here i'm working on something over here i've still got my jumper so i'm just not getting things finished because i keep thinking and, oh, I need to do that that and, that for that and that for that yeah <laughs> you do this 10 to 11 but then you've got something two to three so you can't if you had everything finished by 12 o'clock lunchtime you would yeah. have the whole afternoon to chill yeah and but Gary, not, get, getting gary's mum out of bed for 11 o'clock in the morning just isn't going to happen <laughs> she's still sound asleep <laughs> well that's just one of those things then <laughs> um, but it's you know it, it's just um and every time you go back and think right i'll just finish that off now your brain has to focus on that and you have to totally disengage from what you were doing so um yeah you probably need to give yourself some free afternoons so even yeah. if you do 
think that a call between I don't know four and five. It yeah. means after goggle frog, you've got a few hours to just chill before. Oh, it's nearly dinner time. Yeah. So that's me being. <laughs> Thank you. Mummy Angela, the only time I'll ever be a mummy in my life. <laughs> that's told me. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So we we'll, we just need to chill you out because it's amazing, isn't it? Just, just um, the little things are really, really hard. <sighs> and actually, that's kind of a nice step into today's musical interlude. Is it? It is. Yes. So uh, today, I thought we would pay tribute to a very, very, very special lady uh, who um, passed away a year ago today and uh this is one of her many many songs but probably her most famous so angela if you put yourself on mute yeah, i cannot believe what an absolutely stunning lady she was she was stunningly beautiful absolutely so, a year ago today at the age of 97. wow and an animal activist as well Mm -hmm. I was just je je double checking that I had got the right person, but she uh, loved animals, looked after, after animals, had hundreds of them probably in her home. Uh, well, more than one. Um, yeah. So, uh, and just a lovely, lovely person. She looked lovely. She looked like the girl next door, but she was a stunning girl next door, wasn't she? And um, yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely lady. Thank you for that. I like that yeah. one. Thank you. You're welcome. I should just say, I don't purposefully play music that i know all the words to but somehow it just happens <laughs> no it's, it's a lovely start to the day and, and what does k sarah sarah mean what will be will be yeah so really nice you know we've got all this going on around us and it's just like what will be will be you know things will be fine just chill and enjoy and i love the word in the middle did you hear it will there be rainbows day after day and if you think about everywhere you go nowadays there are rainbows in windows and all over the place so oh, yeah. brilliant <clears throat> uh right. so uh shall we say uh i tell you what we'll do something slightly different today so oh. i did something different yesterday as well yesterday I was you? middle to bottom middle to top. i love it i was i was a complete <laughs> rebel I was, I was out of control um right so today we will start by saying good morning to everybody on the replay we hope you're well hope you're love you all. uh and welcome to this very cloudy wednesday where i am uh down here in Layton buzzard what's it like where you are um it's it well there's a few clouds blue sky so right it's quite here okay <laughs> feels like i need to get in the car and go to leeds for the afternoon then <laughs> yes. you're more than welcome i will be i will be I, I, re I really wish i could but unfortunately i, I can't video call gary's mum from the car don't think no. it would be very safe <laughs> <laughs> um right uh so let's do good mornings to everybody who's in the room um top to bottom or bottom to top bottom to top bottom to top here we go so morning sally morning morning safia morning 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 marion wildy morning morning marilyn morning uh morning marion die morning morning margaret good morning morning linda ellis morning Morning, Judy. Morning. Morning, Janet. Morning. Morning, Jackie. Morning. Morning, Evelyn. Morning. Morning, Brigitte. Morning. And now I'm going to pick on people because they jumped in while I was moving my scroll up and down. And oh. up. Morning, Georgie. Morning. Uh, and somebody else came in as well. Who was it? No. Nope. No, I think that's it. Morning, anybody that we missed. I don't think I did, but morning. <laughs> I know people will pop in as we as we go through the call. Yeah. The show anyway. Oh. Uh, right. So let's do chatties. Uh Jenny says, morning, everybody, have a great day. Uh says morning. Welcome back, Angela. I hope you rested. 
Thank uh, you. Jackie says, morning all. Sorry, missed yesterday. Busy day working. That's fine, Jackie. We do understand. We do appreciate that you are listening to us in the background. Uh, Marion says, morning. Julie says, greetings all. Great good to see you, Angela. Angela. Sally says, morning. Pete says, doing the okey again. Don't tempt him. You know what <laughs> Uh, Safia says, uh, just think in 20 years' time, if this is still going, we might actually be able to do put your whole self in and visit virtually all meet in a room. <sighs> then you really will be doing the okie dokie. You put your whole yeah. self in, your whole self out. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> get carried away. <laughs> and I'll be the one in the kitchen at the car, okay? That's not a problem. <laughs> Linda says, morning all. Hope you feel better after your rest yesterday. Thank you. Uh, Brigitte says, I never seem to have enough time since I retired. <laughs> everybody says that. Um, Margaret says, good morning, everybody. Uh, Sally says, very apt. Love, Doris. Margaret says, my mum used to sing this to me, emotional. Uh, Brigitte says, coming out and walking around the room. Oh, well, I hope you enjoyed the dance. Uh, and that was your exercise today. Um, Linda says, oh, lovely. Why, why is work who wasn't speaking to Sorry. You're beautiful. Uh, and Linda says, uh, sorry, Linda says, great lady like Doris. Apple says, oh, my son's favourite son. George says, morning, lovely to see you. And Marilyn says, morning all. Morning. So there we go. So how's your card? <laughs> going did you get any of it done yesterday yeah just to show you got one arm done so that's the length of the arm it does need blocking um so yeah i, I like that length i thought I put it on i thought yeah that's the length i want so that one's done and i'm just finishing the next one um and then just a, it's got to get blocked i do have this fear I don't block it on a carpet here because my mum and dad just have cream carpets. So <laughs> I don't want some rhubarb stain all over the top of it. So I may just um, try and steam it slightly with an iron um, and just try and press it slightly. Um, but And then the other thing is I don't have enough buttons because I know at some point I bought three or four toggle buttons. I don't know where I bought them from, but for this, um, and I found a little packet and there's only two left. So um, I may have to go on the hunt for more buttons, but that's going to be further down the line. So I'll, I'll get them eventually. I see if I can find them, actually. I really like them because they were so natural. Um, but who knows what bag they've got in. Um, so that, that's something I think for when I go um, shopping. Yeah, I don't know where I put them. But yeah, I've only got two toggle buttons now for this, so I'll need to find some. Um, but that's the go into a shop, and I do like um, the feel of buttons. They have to feel right, and these were lovely wooden toggles. Um, I do actually think I got them from Bar U when they had the shop, um, and they don't have the shop anymore. So I don't think that I don't think they do buttons anymore. But hey ho, never mind. But I'm I'm really pleased with that. I've got an arm. Or a sleeve finished, which is great. So yeah. Good. And I did the iPod bind off as well on the on the sleeve. So that's nice. So that's done. Um yeah. And I do I, I again I just I'm I'm still loving this iPod bind off. It yeah. just gives such a lovely finish. Um yeah, so I think everything from now on has an iPod bind off. That's me now. I love them. Okay. So thank you, Lindy, on replay for um, showing me how to do them. And for those of you that don't know what an I call bind off is, uh, this week we're doing cast ons. We're going to do cast offs next week. Uh, so yeah. I will find an I called cast off for you. All right. I made a video. I, do, I may do a video. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> um, on the subject of which, shall I play today's cast on? Yeah. Yeah. Let's. Okay. So today we're going to look at um, one of my favourite cast-ons, uh, the cable cast-on. 
um, and I use it all the time. I think it just, well, I was doing what I thought was the cable cast on, and I will explain after the video uh, the way that I do my cable cast on because it's not the same as in the video. So, um, uh, yes, we'll do cable cast on. Here we go. So, if I can find it, if I can find it, there we go. Um, it's a slightly longer video today because what she does is traditionally when you uh do a cast on where can i find i can't find yes i can traditionally when you do a cast on um you end up with a slip knot at the beginning that you then have to try and hide and what she's going to do is she's going to talk talk us through um how to lose that slip knot uh so it's a slightly longer video because she does that at the same time what i'll then do is show you some samples that i made yesterday using my cable cast on and then a sample that i've done this morning with my cable cast on but her meth her method of losing the slip stitch um hi rebecca sorry she just joined um and uh i will try during the week to um do the um i forgot what i was going to say now never mind forgotten let's just play the video i think that's enough introduction <laughs> uh, angela could you put yourself on mute okay so hopefully you found wow. that um and like i said i know it's longer but i think what she does with those extra three stitches is absolutely incredible so i yesterday did my version of the cable cast on and i didn't um i'm going to turn it around the wrong side to start with i didn't do the slip knot thing so you can see here the slip knot in the corner mm. and i didn't do her ed, her end stitches either so you can see it go round now the reason why mine is different is because on hers the rope effect that you saw on the bottom row is at the front of your work whereas with mine the way that i do it because i reverse it you get this nice i don't know if you can see it you get this nice little plaited edge at the bottom on the right side so here's a small one that i've done this morning and i've done it her way so here is no slip knot on the right side no i'm on the wrong side so here is no slip knot in the corner and then doing what she did by knitting two together you get that nice straight edge and mm. you can see the plait across the bottom now what you also get is if you purl the edge instead of purl slip sorry if you slip one purl wise on the edge instead of slip one knit wise that plaited edge then comes up both sides like so and then depending on how you cast off and i'm sure we'll cover this next week you then get a plaited effect across the top so what you've now got is by reversing her cable cast on you've got four plaited edges around the work and i i did that purely by accident i didn't know that you were supposed to twist the stitches when you cable cast on um and i didn't learn pearl slip wise until i did your short angela and i just cast off how i thought the right cast off method was and all of a sudden you've got that nice little plastic effect so what i'm very quickly going to do is show you the reverse cable cast on Take the slip knot and put that on the needle, and you knit your first stitch, just go through the yarn, pull it over, and wrap it straight over the needle. Don't twist it. Put the needle in between and pull the yarn down like she did. And then you're going to do what she did. You're going to wrap the yarn over and pull it through the bottom 
to create your extra stitch but to reverse the rope effect so you get the plait at the front and the rope behind instead of twisting it all you do is slip it onto your needle as though it's a knit stitch and pull it down and you just do that for however many stitches you need and like she said in the video again just pull it straight over like a knit stitch go in between pull it down and like she said in the video all you do is add three so you pull from behind slip over the top and go in between and when you've done that your knit your next row should always be a knit row don't do a pearl row because otherwise what you end up with is a bit of a lump at the bottom and you don't want that i've got one two three four five six seven we're going to do eight we're going to just do five so i can show you how to do the slip pearl ways okay so we've got eight on the needle so she said knit the first two pull the two off the needle to give you your first knit stitch now i'm going to get to hold of fiber guitar because it's my half continental half, half continental knitting knit one it works knit two knit three knit four so then you've got five stitches on the needle on your second needle if you're using straight needles like i am you literally pull the needle out take your yarn tail and pull it down and then you lose your slip knot when you turn the work around the yarn tail is in front of you so all you're going to do is slip the first stitch and then move your yarn in front and knit to the end and that is slip one pearl wise and that's how you get the plaited effect up the side as well so on the right side of your work now you have a plaited bottom edge and then you're going to get plaited sides and there ends today's lesson <laughs> that's brilliant <laughs> so there we go so i hope that re is really helpful uh, it will be on the replay if anybody needs a one-to-one -one demonstration when we're allowed to of how I did my cable cast on or how I slip her ways, please just let me know. So George, wow. Georgie says, wow, I always use this cast on. I never knew it was called cable cast on. Love the video. I didn't know it either, Georgie, till somebody said to me, that's a cable cast on. Uh, Brigitte says, I put a note into the book with the cable cast on, great edges. Robert, thank you. Then she says, you're not getting told off. Uh, and then she says, plaited bottom sounds painful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. And you know what? It's one that I don't use. I don't use the cable cast on because I don't like the shape of it. Because when people have shown me it, I haven't known to take the, the three extra stitch to get rid of the three yeah. extra stitches. So it's one I've never used because every time I do it, I always think, why do people use this cast on method? Because it, it's not even for me. So that is perfect. Now I know how to use it. So researching it yesterday, I found that that is particularly helpful if you're doing um, increases in a pattern. Yeah. If you've got straight edges and then you need to increase 10 either side, right. that's a really neat edge to do mm. your increases with um, yeah. rather than just knitting them on. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. Really, really like that. So that was number three of, of, of cast on. So we've now done, just to, clarify, just to recap, we've done the um, long tail cast on with two needles. So that covered two in one which we also discovered, and you would have missed this, Angela, on Monday when I was doing research for Tuesdays, is also called the German cast-on or the old Norwegian cast-on. So right. it's an asked on Monday for the old Norwegian cast-on. 
uh, on Monday we did three in one and then did the two needles so we did four in one wow um feel like I'm on dusty three two one then uh, <laughs> <laughs> yesterday we did the Turkish cast on and for those of you that missed it what that means is uh when you do a piece of work you end up with a jointless seam in your cast on for a two-sided piece of work great on toys great on um rectangles that you're then going to fold in half and stitch together uh so do go back and have a look at that and i did post a link in facebook yesterday uh and then we've done cable today so by my reckoning that leaves pico cast on judy's cast on not our judy another judy uh, an i cord cast on so that's three to do uh so um i will research them today what are we on wednesday so we've only got two shows left this week uh yeah. depending on how long the videos are i'll work out how we're going to get all three done no i am not doing that one <laughs> <laughs> rebecca said chinese waitress cast on <laughs> Uh, don't forget the Chinese waitress. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fine. I will write down the Chinese waitress. I thought you were pulling my leg. So did I. I, I do I have to say. Wait, that. And what numbers would you like, please? <laughs> I just don't know. <sighs> when you look at some of like the, I, I, I haven't um, seen much Chinese knitting at all, so that's totally unfamiliar. Japanese, yes, that is a whole different world when you look at Japanese stitches, uh, very intricate, um, but I have not known of anything Chinese before, so that's something that I'm going to learn. Okay, I will go and do some research and we'll cover them off over however many Goggle Frog sessions we have left. Yay! Um, uh, Rebecca says that slip one pearl wise is at the start of the first square in the knitting and crochet guild cro knit along blanket link in the announcements post on the knitting and crochet guild Facebook page um yes Rebecca uh, did a start a new blanket this week um a knit along uh, looks the colors that you've picked Rebecca look absolutely lovely um Rebecca then says it's not Chinese I was shown it by a lady in the waitress wa uh, waitress at a Chinese restaurant okay right okay <laughs> fine and then brigitte says it's on page 54 in that book okay you mean the book that's coming today okay uh and linda says she's not joking i did wonder if rebecca would mention it ah. uh so i ordered um on monday uh brigitte mentioned a cast on blind off book i ordered it oh. yesterday from amazon so it should be coming today did you yeah. <laughs> oh i i might i might treat myself as well <laughs> i think i have enough books now to start running a library you know yeah i know i i have i i have to do something with our garage stroke office because at some point it is going to get um converted into a bar um so um i don't mind knitting and drinking at the same time but somehow i don't think my hobby's really that enamored with it so <laughs> I have to find somewhere to put some of those things. I know. Um, Gary uh, last week needed wrapping paper, which is kept in the wardrobe next to me, which is where all my stash is. And I thought to myself, do I get the wrapping paper out for him or should yes. I just let him go in? So I got the wrapping paper out and then later in the day, he was still going through the wardrobe anyway. And I thought, oh, well, <laughs> never mind. Oh, well. See ya. <laughs> Well, when I eventually get home, I'm sure um, I have no idea where all my little bags of stuff have gone. Uh, but I think that's the first thing I need to do. I need to sort um, my, all of my um, stash out again because I've bought things while I've been up here. So it just needs resolving. Um, oh, it's apparently called Chinese Waitress in the book. Oh, okay. So it is. So that's good. And Rowena's just joined. Morning, Rowena. Morning. Morning. Uh, and we're just going to say a big well done to Tracy, uh, who is currently out riding a bike, uh, which she hasn't done for many, many, many years. 
So oh, wow. on Facebook. So morning, Tracy. Uh, I hope you're not too knackered. Uh, take the day off tomorrow. Don't get back on it tomorrow because otherwise you'll be aching all over on Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Um, so shall we do some work in progress Wednesdays? Yeah. Uh, right. Here we go. Just remember, folks, I can't see the chat box. Uh, so all I can see is what's on the screen that you can see. So, uh, Evelyn, work in progress Wednesday, bought my granddaughter her first book at Christmas. Where's Mr. Duck? I will post this to her. Her dad reads it to her. We'll be a surprise when this comes, as I think it's his favourite too. Oh, oh. oh, and did you see the name of that duck? Benedict, Benny Duck Cumber Quack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, is, that is one of the best names ever. Uh, Evelyn, before you send it off to her, please do post some pictures of the finished project. Yeah, Cumber uh, Quack, love it. Linda has posted her work in progress. You cast on for her granddaughter, Little Butterflies, using Batik oh. Elements and Batik Swirl. Oh, wow. I love that yellow. That's gorgeous. Really, really like that yellow. Um, Brigitte Why have I not seen this Batik? I've got the big Batik Swirl, haven't I? The cake that I got. Well, that's, Why have I never seen this one? That's where they came from. They did the Batik elements and then they did the cakes because the elements proved so popular. And people were asking for something where they didn't have to change um, yarn all the time. So that's where that came from. And that's what I love about this. We may have all bought our own yarn and um, had our own projects. And I have used the Batik Swirl cake. I've got another two at home somewhere in my home, not this home here. Um, so it's uh, I, I didn't realise that there was more Batik that I can look at. So um, more projects, as if I needed any more projects. <laughs> and sorry, Robert, we've lost you. Oh, hello. That's all right. Hello, I'm about. Hello. We can hear you, but we can't see you. Oh, okay. Are they sure? No. Can you not see anything on the screen? Or maybe it's fine. I can see me. I can see the page that you're showing, but I, I can't see your photo, okay. your picture of you. Okay, well, I'm just going to carry on. Uh, yeah. Right, Brigitte has posted a blanket, blanket for a grandson waiting to be edged and tidied. On hold for something else at the moment so this is uh, the continuation of the one that she posted last week um, i just love those colors really really love those colors um oh, Angela gone. am i still there Did somebody just type yes to say that i'm still there and i'll carry on Hello. Is it me or is it you? Angela is gone. Right. Okay. Thank you, Peter. So I will carry on. Uh, and I think Angela's just gone to refresh her screen. Uh, Safia, work in progress Wednesday. Ubuntu diamonds complete. Unable to carry on uh, any further as I printed off the wrong sections. So back in the bag for now. They look gorgeous, Safia. They really, really do. Um, do let us know how long it's going to be before you're able to print the rest of the pattern. Um, or if it's something that I can print and put in a post for you, do let me know. I'm more than happy to do that for you. Uh, I posted a video yesterday of uh, the, the promo video for tonight. So you didn't cut it. So so and be on at nine, and then I'll be live at ten. Um, there is a different link. Uh, so if you want to join us, please do feel free. Uh, it's just where I have a bit of a banter um, and talk about what happened in the show. And uh, this one is particularly. Um, interesting because i've decided that drinking wine is a new sport so do watch it um dawn so dragged this out of a pile of bags while sorting out our wardrobe discovered receipts still with it started in 2015 only need to do the neck and sew it up thought it was time i finished it a pack of tweed so um that looks really really interesting and lots of different colors as well by the looks of it so dawn's not with us today um, Marion, working. Marion, do I work in progress Wednesday? The pink is the same stitch pattern as the random blue. 
This time I'm using spline that I purchased when Katrina sold up. The other short is being knitted in a DK yarn I brought in Canada. The pattern is for a chunky yarn. I must admit, I like the way it's knitting up and will probably use all the yarn I have. So there we go. Oh, wow. And it just goes to show what a difference two different types or three different types of yarn make with a stitch effect. That's beautiful. I love pink. Gorgeous. Um, that one we did yesterday. That was yesterday. That was yesterday. So it looks like we're through all of the work in progress. We'll just give it a refresh, see if anything else comes up. That's it. So there we go. So thank you for all of those. Um, Safia says, thank you, Robert. Yes, I'm more than happy to. If you want me to, just let me know if that's easier for you. Uh, post will probably get to you in about three-ish days. Um, so you can have it by Saturday. If that means you'll be able to have it quicker than waiting for you to go and print it somewhere. Um, so that was Work in Progress Wednesday. Tomorrow is Freehand Thursday. So uh, do send us any pictures of anything that you've done uh, without a pattern. Just made up on the spot, um, and uh, we will display them. I will bring up my collection of scarves from downstairs, all done without a pattern. Um, and then you, apart from my Doctor Who scarf, that was done with a pattern. Um, and I will show you all the different different scarves that I've made across the years. Um, and then not here Friday. Uh, but back on Saturday for Shirt Off Saturday. And Shirt Off Saturday replaces Finished It Friday. So on Saturday, we're looking for pictures of the works that you have finished this week. Um, and I know we didn't have many last week, but it was the first one. So uh, hopefully we'll have a few more this week. Um, I don't know quite what's going on with Angela. She's not dropped me a message or anything to say. She's had to go or she's having trouble reconnecting. Uh, so just a reminder, folks, um, musical interludes, I did say if you want to dedicate something to somebody, do let me know. Uh, we have tomorrow's and Saturday's planned, um, but we are looking for suggestions for next week. I do have a long list. I can carry on just playing what I think you'll like. <laughs> but if there is a dedication that you'd want, then please do let me know. Uh, Rebecca says, I did mean to post something. As Lord knows, I have enough work in progresses. I overslept and did not have time to look for something that's not a blanket square. Don't worry about it, Rebecca. Save it for next week. Um, I will show you my current work in progress. So I started it uh, while we were on last week, I think. Um, and this is the bamboozle uh, yarn. Um, garter stitch, sorry, stocking stitch, uh, as you can see. But what you do is when you get to the thick part of the yarn, you reverse the stitch, and that's what makes it stick out at the front and there are just some absolutely gorgeous colors in here and my camera really isn't showing them very very well at all um but there is uh, a gorgeous pink in here and this blue as well and then weirdly you can see it in the rest of the wall band we've got oranges uh grays and these offline greens and i just wouldn't Put any of those together at all, but it looks lovely. So that's one of mine. I can't show you my second one. Uh, and my third one, yes, third of oh, best. Um, Angela's saying she's trying to log back in, but she's having issues with her internet. Uh, so that is the back. Of the jumper, and that is the front of the jumper. And when they match, uh, hopefully in a week or so, maybe, maybe not. Uh, oh, actually, there's not that far, to, not that long to go till they match. Oh, you know what? I might be about there. Uh, anyway, when I've decided that they match. I'll throw that down there to double check later. Um, we will um, go through my pattern that I can't work out uh, and see if anybody can actually help me get it done. 
otherwise it's just going to end up being frogged and the rest of the wall will end up being wasted, which I don't want to do. That was project number three. Um, project number four, I've just started. You probably can't see an awful lot of it. Turn it the right way around so you can see it. Uh, this is going to be a shawl. Uh, and actually, I'm really pleased that I can see some of the pattern in it. So that might look quite nice. When it's Hello! Finished. Hi, Angela. You all right? No? Are we missing you again? Okay, never mind. Um, so, yes, so that's project number four. Um, I've got drop stitches on the go. Uh, I've got things on the go. So, there we go. So, Rebecca, don't be ashamed about how many you've got i'm sure we've all got confessionally probably got four or five on the go at once um rebecca says lovely to see some bamboos on it up yes that's the fourth one that i've done i think um angela will tell you uh that when we had her surprise birthday tea last year um we i put together some party bags and the first time i used bamboozle uh, no, sorry, that was the second time I bought bamboozle. I put them in the bags. This was the first one that I brought that I found in my stash buried. Uh, so pulled it out because it's a quick, easy project to do on the go. And then I went back to the shop after Angela's birthday and brought another two skeins of the bamboozle. It's beautiful to work with, so soft and silky. Uh, and because of the thickness of the yarn, it really doesn't matter how loose or how tight you do it um, because that's what it's supposed to do naturally. Um, Rebecca says four or five. Hmm. Okay. Are you confessing to more there, Rebecca? And I see nobody else is commenting on how many they have on the go. <laughs> so we'll just read into that what we want to, shall we? <laughs> um, oh, I lost Angela properly then. Bye, Angela. Hello. No, you're back. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you're right. Oh, B team internet. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> so we're just talking about projects so i've just counted all the projects that are on the go at the moment and i have four that i'm uh, that i will confess to um and more in other places um so margaret has three marion has four safia says maybe four or five so i think four is four or five is like a common number yeah uh four on the go as it. well some of uh, rebecca says i have about i think some are from workshops where i started and never got around to finishing that should say 10. don't worry about it rebecca i don't count workshop ones only actual projects that are going to become something workshops to me are the foundations to bigger projects so if you don't get the workshop finished doesn't matter doesn't count um, there we go uh, Safia says, I keep finding whips. I started to so trying to work through them. Evelyn says, my daughter counted mine. And I've forgotten how many. <laughs> Rebecca says, LOL. Uh, Linda says, maybe three that come to mind, but need to have a sort out. <laughs> uh, Safia says, yes, from workshops, I pulled one out the other day as I hated it. <laughs> maybe what we need to have next week. How about this for a plan? Next Wednesday as well as doing work in progress, uh, sorry, as well as doing cast offs and work in progress Wednesday, we'll have confessional Wednesday and uh, all admit to how many projects we've got on the go. Yeah. So go find count all of them and I'll count my cross stitches as well. Uh, and then we'll uh, compare because I reckon I've probably got about 10 cross stitches on the go that aren't finished. <laughs> You do realise that I don't actually know how many I've got back at home. Yeah, of course you don't. I must have about at least 12 to 15 projects that I've started, not quite finished, or thought, do you know what, I, I just don't quite like the stitch or the feel of it. So, um, But I know up here I've got four. <laughs> so uh, um, uh, I will contact Alan and go and count them for you. Don't, don't, he'll kill me. He'll kill me. <laughs> don't do that. Oh dear. Because do you know what? I've got knitting, I've got knitting cases 
with a project in them of some gloves. He has no idea how many projects I've got got on the boat. <laughs> don't don't let him know. Okay, so maybe Angela will win then. <laughs> if we just, if we just count four and factor it by a thousand, that might work out. I, I will work it out. I will work out the ones I can remember <laughs> in my head. <laughs> Georgie says possibly five projects on the go. Linda says, love that idea. Marion then says, you'll have no attendees. We'll all be too busy counting. <laughs> <laughs> um, Rebecca's laughing as well. So, oh, good. that's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> Let's try that. And I reckon I know who's going to be the person that has the least projects. And I think you'll know who that is as well. So I, let's not say it out loud. Let's wait till next Wednesday. Yeah, time. we'll see. I, 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 I've got some a person's name in my head, so we'll see if we're <laughs> right. <laughs> oh um, dear! Can I just say, say to finish this arm? I am actually using this is my version of Continental. Oh right. Out. So yeah. I can't I can't do it the same up there, but yeah, I, I do I because it's all knit. I thought, why am I knitting knitting? So I decided that as it's only knit and I don't have to do any pearl, um I can do, actually do continental to finish this arm off. And then we'll be done. So hopefully this will be done today. Lovely. Uh, yeah. Um Evelyn says I don't feel so bad now I've heard everyone else's. Uh, Evelyn, you didn't admit to a number. <laughs> I noticed that you admitted that. <laughs> um, um, and Marion says, me too. Oh, yeah. So what are you up to today, Angela? Um, well, I'm, I, I'm actually taking my mum out. Um, Lovely. Because she needs to go to the bank. So there's no other way of doing that. So she's going to the bank. So we're going to have a little drive. Open first. Huh? Just check the bank is open first. Yeah, it is. So um, we've got several that we can go to. So we're going there. Um, and then we're just going to have a nice quiet day again, as we normally do. Um, I'll speak to my hubby at some point. I can't even remember what it looks like. I can, but you know what I mean. Um, so... Um, and other than that there's nothing else to do is there we're not going shopping because we don't need any shopping um so it will be finishing this off today um and then i do know that the only thing left is just to create some leaves and i haven't quite decided yet whether i'm going to embroider them or whether i'm going to create some little leaves um and knit them so i'll decide uh, but just another quiet day what about you um, I must finish the two chores that I've started. And what are they? So, I, so my sideboard in the living room. Right. Um, has just become a throw everything in it. Um, so I did the drawers this morning, and I now have two spare drawers. Right. Um, and um, I've started the bathroom cabinet, so I must finish that as well. Wow. Um, Gary's mum... Um, Going to drive my cats mad because I'm going to make tuna mayonnaise for lunch and not give them any tuna. All right. Hang on a minute. It's all right. You're all right. Morning, Jean. Mum? No, it's Robert. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> my mum says hello. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, my mum's just said i don't know how you stand this cold Angie, because i've got the windows open <laughs> so the rest of the house has got the heating on 24 7 but up here i have no heating the radiator broke and it's like brilliant it broke and have the windows open as well <laughs> all right see you in a minute mum uh right very quickly uh rowena says i've just found two working projects um which uh she discovered she does not have enough wall left and child is now too big i'm determined to finish a project at a time uh marion says angela how's your dad okay thank you okay so uh, I can say, thank you okay brigitte says thank you for today see you tonight rowena says making my husband's 60th birthday cake today or oh, let us know when it is and if you want a dedication let me know 
um, and I'll find the music for you. Um, Evelyn says, buy off to Hemel today. Rebecca says, the dog's going to the groomer today, so I'm going to do some ironing while they're away. Jackie says, thanks for today, see you tonight, and now everyone's saying goodbye, because it is 11 o'clock! Oh, Robert, as far as ever, lovely to see you all, and more cast on, cast offs, <laughs> work, projects, which, who cares? Just more, 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 more yarn and everything, Wally. Uh, don't hang up too quick, Angela. I'm going to give you a call and messenger in a second. Uh, so bye, everybody, uh, and bye. we'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye.